Hi everyone! Happy New Year, Merry Christmas and all that stuff. Hope you guys had a fabulous set of holidays if you guys had any. I didn't but it was okay. I had a few days off with my husband and my mum and it was great. Anyway, the purpose of today's video is I'm going to recreate my New Year's look. I went above and beyond for my look this year. I got a little bit excited. I had a full length sequin dress and it was Oh, very extra and that's okay I never really get a chance to dress up like that so um, today's look is going to be a really beautiful smoky eye I'm gonna have a little bit of glitter and if you guys are interested in seeing how I transform from this pasty face to a New Year's face then please keep on watching okay so I've already prepped my skin I've put some eye cream and some moisturizer but for a little bit of extra prep today, what I've done is I will use um, Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. Just let that settle in just for a little bit because I want my face to last all night. Then I'm going to go in with Max Strobe Cream in Gold Light. This is a really beautiful moisturizing cream with gold um, in it. It's not necessarily a primer, but I really love it. It makes my skin look super dewy. Next I'm going to go in with uh, Neoid, Neoid, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. It's a photography fluid. Um, apparently this stuff makes your photos look epic. Um, I've seen a few other YouTube bloggers use it and they swear by it and I've had it for a really long time, I've just never used it. so. I am giving it a go for this video. Going to be prepping my eyelids with Tarte Shape Tape in medium. Just dot it on a little bit there. You always want to start off with a clean, smooth base. When you're doing a really heavy, smoky eye, it's always good to get rid of any sort of veins or discoloration that you might have on the eyelid. Then I'm going to be setting my eyelids with the Fenty Beauty Universal Invisimat Powder. I'm not using anything heavy, I'm just wanting to set that eyelid. Make sure it's nice and soft and smooth and easy for the eyeshadow to glide against. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in and I'll be back in a second. And we're close up. My face is pretty scary, huh? Please ignore the rest of my face. We're going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. The first color I'm going to be going in with is Silk Cream. I'm just using a really light caramel just in through my crease here. Just going to carve out a nice shadow that's just through there. Next I'm going to go in with MFEO. That color is just slightly darker than the last one I used. And you can see that it's just creating a little bit of a shadow. Next color I'm going to be going in with is one called Puta. <laughs> the names of these are hilarious. I love Jaclyn Hill. She is so funny. So easy going. I could watch her videos all day and just have a big old laugh. Next color after that I'm going to go in with is Roxanne and it's like a brick color. It's really, really pretty. It's more of an orange base. It's got hints of red in it as well. Just creating that shadow there. Next color is called Jazz. It is a deeper red color and I'm just Keeping it in the corner here, just lightly, extend it out, and then I'm going to bring it in. But I'm keeping the majority of the color on the outer corners. Next color I'm going to go in with is called Chip. Now this is even darker than the last couple of colors that I've used. Once again, I'm keeping it in the outer corner of my eye and bringing just a little bit further in. So you're creating a bit more of that shape on just the outer part of your eye. Next I'm going in with a yellow shade called Creamsicle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that over all the other shadows that I have placed down and blend all those together. 
So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a pointy short shader brush and just take a little bit of black and just create a little small V on that corner there. Just in there. Now this look is going to take a little while because you're going back and forth with a lot of shades. So take your time. I can't stress that enough. Even if you're not really good or fast or you have no confidence doing this, just practice. Get to know your own face. You know, I don't have a 20 year old face. I'm 36 years old, so I, don't, I look nothing like other YouTubers, but I know my face. I know what works. I know what doesn't work. I know I have a million wrinkles. I have all this discoloration underneath my eyes, but that doesn't stop me. And I've gotten used to um, my face and the shape and what looks good and what doesn't look good. And that's all you have to do when it comes to practicing. Once you guys have decided that you like the shadow, um, then you go in and you cut your crease. What I'm going to use for that today is the Inglot Eyeliner Gel in 95. This is a gold um, eyeliner gel, which is really cool. Um, most people use a concealer, whereas I like to uh, use this because it gives me a little bit more of that shine underneath. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a mirror, put it in front of you. You're going to look down. And then you're going to start to place the pigment down on your lid. Now take your time with this. I can't stress this enough because what you're doing is you're creating a blank canvas for the glitter to sit on. Okay, so here we go with some glitter. So what I'm using is this Stiller Magnificent Metals in Diamond Dust. The next colour I'm going in with is still the same Stiller Magnificent Metals and I'm going to go in with Bronzed Bell. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to continue on from that area where you place the first bit of shadow. Once you've placed all that glitter down, you can then go back in with a little bit of your darker chocolate browns. And what you do is you just shade in that corner there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to clean everything up. I'm going to take myself a baby wipe. I'm going to create just a little point here. After that, I'm going to go in and create a wing. Then once you've got your winged liner on, you go back to your black eyeshadow and just, just marry those two sections up. Just blend that little outer corner here, just above your wing, just on that outer corner there. Now for face, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Latte, which is my color. Now, just a warning you guys, this is a very, very full coverage. As I was saying, it's a very full coverage foundation. It might not be for you, but I wore it on New Year's Eve because I wanted it to be perfect. And I didn't want to see a blemish or a wrinkle or anything, past mistakes. How shitty 2017 was, I wanted all of that to be covered up. So I've zoomed you guys back out and you can see the difference between my face and my neck. But that's okay. Don't you worry, I'm going to bronze everything up. Now when you're using a high coverage foundation, you want to make sure that you get everywhere. You don't want to have a really white hairline. So it's always best to kind of go back into that hairline with a little bit of foundation. 
Next I'm going back in with the tart shape tape in medium. I'm just dotting this on like so. And just to set that, you're going to go back in with the Fenty Beauty Invisimat powder. I'm just going to be pressing it in with the little square that comes with the palette. So next you're going to go back in with a little bit of your brown eyeshadows. You can pick whichever one you want. Kind of keep it uniform and keep it in tone with the colours that you use at the top. Next I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Mascara just to give my eyelashes a few coats before I put on my false lashes. For my bottom lashes I'm using Max Extended Play Lash because it's a much smaller brush and I find that I can get right into the root without it going everywhere. To bronze up my face I'm going to go in with the Chanel Soleil. I have used a lot of it and it's a cream bronzer and I like it to just bronze up my face. I'm not using this as a contour. I'm just using this to bronze up my face. Just so I can get it the same color as my neck and chest. To contour my face, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Espresso. I like using darker foundations to contour my face with. I find that they blend really nicely all together. And I don't really draw on harsh lines on my face. I kind of like to push it into my skin and then go over it and do one side at a time because I find that if you kind of draw on all these heavy lines it tends to dry in quickly. Just going to contour my nose a little bit. To set that cream contour, I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder. And what I like to do is just deepen up that contour just on the outer edges. I don't like to follow it all the way through. I know this is a heavy makeup, guys, but you know what? It was New Year's, it was nighttime. All good, you don't want to wear this during the day. Well, you can. I'm not saying you can't, but it can be a little bit harsh. Next, I'm going to pop up some eyelashes. Uh, they're by I Lure London and they're Exaggerate number 141. I've already popped the glue on to have it dry a little bit. And what I do is I just look down in a mirror, place the middle section first. Grab the end, stick that down. And that way you've already let the glue sit just a little bit, it becomes quite tacky. And then as soon as you pop it on, it sticks down. Okay, so I ended up buying this um, new jelly highlighter I think it's called it's by Farsali and it's called Jelly Beam and what it's like it's like a it's like literally like a jelly it wobbles I haven't used this before so this is going to be really interesting and if it fails on camera then that's fine so I'm just going to use a little bit out of the lid I'm going to press the side of my beauty blender into it and I'm just going to dab on this highlighter it is strong wow maybe I'll blend it in with my fingers <laughs> what yeah I'm not really sure about this one I don't know why it's sticking like that 
I'm not usually this rough with my face, but I want this stupid thing to blend. Not really, not really a fan, but I guess I have to like even up the other side now and work really quickly. This is a bit of a fail. It's okay. I don't know. It's probably the wrong color for my skin. I don't know if it's best used on natural skin or it's not meant to be used on specific foundations but I'm not really a fan of this one. I'm going to try and save it. Um, I'm going to be using Mirame by um, Desi X Katie Colourpop Highlighters. Just going to press over the top of that. For blush I'm going into the Coral Spectrum Palette by Zoeva and I'm going to be using this shadow right here. So my microphone seemed to turn off for some reason. I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. As a lip topper, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. To finish the look, I'm going back into my inner corners with Diamond Dust, the liquid eyeshadow by Stila. Setting the finished look with Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this was my New Year's Eve look. I really enjoyed it. I know it's a lot of makeup, but I had a lot of fun creating it. Um, I love glitter. I would use it every day if I could, but I know it's a little bit extra. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you want to see anything else and if you have any advice or anything that you want to ask me, ask me a question, write it down below. Thanks you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.